Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you can make a complete SEO optimized video in less than 15 to 20 minutes. As you're about to see, it's super easy. So first, what we want to do is ask ChatGPT to write a 10 scene video script. So in the prompt, you could write something like write a 10 scene video script that summarizes my entire article. Just add the speech, no instructions. Make sure to add my keyword at the beginning of the script. Make sure to ask the viewers to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. So these are the elements that you want to see in your script. So once you've created your prompt, just click enter and let ChatGPT do its magic. So my script has been generated. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to put it in a notepad and I'm going to save. Then I'm going to go back in GPT and I'm going to ask it to write a text for my YouTube video description box. This is very important. You really need to use that term, YouTube video description box. Then you want to make sure to add the keyword in the beginning of the text. Add the blog article link that goes with your video, of course. So you add the link, whatever your link is. Also add hashtags. Also add a call to action to join my socials. Now, whether it's Pinterest, Facebook, LinkedIn, you could add your links uh, as well to your, your social profiles in here. Once you've created your prompt, you wait for ChatGPT to write the text for you. So here in the video description, we have our keyword, we have our blog article link here, we have our hashtags, we have our socials. So once this is done, you grab your video description text and you put it just a bit lower in the same document, like that, save. Okay, so now I'm ready to go and make a video and when I load it in YouTube, I have my video description here, right? So. As for the video editors, I've added two links below this video and with these tools you're going to be able to make videos in 10-15 minutes max. Before I continue in this video, I want to talk about the video description. As you progress in your blogging career, you're going to have a lot of blog articles and a lot of videos that are related to whatever new video you make, right? So in your videos, it's always good to go back and add these relevant articles, right? So what you could do is go back in any of your videos and add something like visit us and check out these relevant articles. And then you add your links here. I don't suggest that you exceed three links per video, um, but as time goes by, it's always good to come back in your videos and add these links because this is going to drive more traffic within your network because people are going to be hopping from video to video, from blog article to blog article and so on. So obviously Google and YouTube's algorithm likes it when you come back and add fresh content, uh, especially if it's relevant, like relevant articles, right? Um, you could even do another section below it, stay on YouTube and check out our relevant videos. And then you could add three video links that are relevant here, right? So obviously the more you optimize your videos, the better you'll get results. And if you come and add stuff later to give even more value to your video, well, you'll be compensated by Google and YouTube for it because they like that. So assuming that you've created your script, your video description, you've made your video, now you go and upload it in YouTube, right? So your video description text goes in the video details section. This is where you want to add it. And as for your video script, you're going to obviously use it to create your video, but you're also going to come and paste your script in the subtitle section because Google and YouTube crawl the subtitle section. So 
if you add your script and your keyword is in there, that's pure SEO and Google and YouTube loves it. So because you already have your video script, you might as well go and paste it in there, right? That's going to optimize your video even more. So now assuming that everything is done, you're going to also want to embed your YouTube video in your blog article. Now, if you remember in past videos, I was talking about structure. So it's important that once you've created your YouTube video, that you go and embed it in your article as well. Please move on to the next part of the training. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.